My name is Claudia. I'm a junior animal care officer right here in Night Safari at the Fish and Cat Trail, um, where we'll be going around and doing the husbandry today. And I'm Olivia, and I'll be today's reluctant zookeeper. Whenever we start our day, we actually do something we call first check. So we make sure that all our animals are healthy, they're fine, and that they're there. This is too much. Like, no, just all. Like, okay. there, there are 25 of them, so we'll just pour all. Hey, look, got feather. Got feather. How do you like? Oh my god, I'm so scared. <laughs> look. Oh my god, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I found 26. No, but we, we only have 25. Okay, okay. <laughs> Six, okay. 25. There's yeah. 25 of them. So that's always a challenge because they won't stay yeah. down there and like, okay, let me yeah. count you. So they'll swim away or they'll fly away. On the top there, yeah. So those two pink birds that everyone always thinks are flamingos, they're not. Oh, yeah, they're they actually, don't like flamingos. Yeah. Yeah. They're actually spoonbills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they get their name because their beak um, actually is the shape of a spoon. I think it's the scariest part. Lor. How do you like carry the how do you carry the camera on, uh, and like <laughs> with confidence? Scared. And the knowledge that is the water's not so deep. Yeah. <laughs> so you can just pour the kangkong okay. into the all the tray. Tray. Yeah. All of it. This kangkong is not for us to eat samba kangkong with, but it's for the turtles. <laughs> so much. Mm. There's quite a few of them in here. So healthy. So big. Oh my god. So many flying foxes are one of the largest bats in the world. Their wings span yeah. from one end to the other end. they like about 1.5 to 1.8 meters long. Mm. Like, I think my eyes are a bit like blur now from looking at the sun too much. So these are actually mice. What the f Oh my god! <laughs> Why are they so like, like shriveled up? No, because they were frozen and now they're unfrozen. So. Can I try picking one up? No, okay, oh my god. Just by the tail, ah. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh! Eee! Oh. 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 so frozen gross. Oh my god, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, this is actually for our binturong baby. So, binturongs oh. are civets. So, they are kind of related to cats, but they're not cats. They eat mainly a lot of fruits, vegetables, and a bit of meat. So they do eat chicken, eggs, and over here we also give them mice. They are oh defrosted. They're so. so poor thing. Like, you see, this one over here is like, it's like, like oh my god, kind of like, like, there's, there's this one also. Then sometimes they are frozen in like, but it's food, uh, so. Them gross. Okay. So a lot of our animals, I mean, before we put them out in the exhibit, we do something we call conditioning. So we want them to oh, okay. you know, be more used to the environment. So this is always the fun part of working with animals. They oh, never do so, what yeah. you expect them to. Okay, 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 you can have the banana. So his favourite food, as you can tell, is the banana. banana. <laughs> yeah, so this bintang, he's a binturong. So they're actually the largest of all the civets. Um, and they have this prehensile tail, which they actually use to like, it's like an extra limb. They kind of use oh, it right. to hang off from trees. It's really the babies that light enough. Mm, that tail is really strong. So you can just try giving him the banana. Bintang! There we go. So he finishes all that himself. Yeah. That's a lot of food. Bintang! Wait, wait, oh. He's kind of like, oh, right. here, okay. here's a banana. Here, 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 here. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Okay. Great. Yep. Yeah. So he helps himself, you know. How many times do they eat? A, does it eat a day? Um. So we feed them uh once a day normally. Oh, so this is this, this is his full food, food. Yeah. Food. <laughs> I was hoping like you all forget about the mice. He likes it. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. He doesn't even want the mice. Why do you want the mice? <laughs> Why do I care already? I think maybe he's unfamiliar with you. Really? So sad. Uh, so, one of the things about binturongs, they say um, they smell either like popcorn, popcorn. Like pandan smell. But for him, he's still quite young, so his glands has not started producing the smell yet. Huh, really? Mm, so, not so much. But the rest of them, I think it smells more like pandan. It's the way they mark their territory. I'm so scared of fall. 
it because it doesn't feel like oh my god, I'm so scared of fall. Oh no, your boots are fine. Oh, okay. Of all of them, you are the safest. <laughs> Even though I'm wearing non-slip boots, I'm so scared of fall. Like you know. So this is your next challenge. Okay. This is the author's. Um, this is their den. Uh -huh. yeah, this is where they sleep at night. Okay, so right now they're actually in the exhibit with the soil and everything. So right here, we have left for you the poop. So there's a poop there at the corner. And right now we're going to clean it. And you get to smell the author poop. Okay. Um, over here we feed the Asian small crab otters. They get crabs, fish, mussels. This whole place just smells like mussels. This is kuning, yeah. also known as yellow scat leaves, and then we have the manila rope. We're gonna put the fish inside, and then we're gonna wrap it up really tightly and use the rope to tie it. So the okay. otters take a lot of effort to get to the food. Okay. Lay the fish here, and then uh, it, it's better to like put the fish this way so that you know you can cover it like that. So this. Is... <laughs> This way, it helps to get the flavour of the leaf into the fish. Nicely wrapped. Right. Okay, so now we're ready. It's your hard work. You can hold it. Okay. Nah, she love mom. Yeah. So I can start throwing already? Yep. Okay, I throw at the side first. Just throw it. Yeah. Okay. Whoa! Oh okay, my god. You keep job, throwing so the rest oh, of them okay, get. Okay. Hey, it's in front of you! Oh, oh no, so poor thing! Right. It's over there! <laughs> yeah. So sometimes they're like, I don't want to work on my feet. <laughs> wow, the, the, the skills are like extremely loud. So is this, is it like that in a wall? I mean like, if you're trying to simulate the wall. So we can't simulate the wall exactly sometimes. So for them, you know, they catch a lot of fish, crustaceans, things like that. So what we can do instead is to, for them to have to think to get their food. So that mental process of, okay, I smell my food, mm. okay, and I need to get my food. I'm gonna blend some live mealworms to feed to the pangolins. Oh. Not looking forward to it. First part of our diet, uh, we weigh out the ants eggs, which is about 750 grams. The next part where we actually have to blend the mealworms. So in here we have the mealworms. Oh my god. Scoop. No, I don't do that. No, 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 no. <laughs> this reminds me of like, like, in, in, in fish shops, they usually use this kind of fish, right? I think for bait, they do use some kind of worm. I'm just talking to the like, delay time. <laughs> yes, it is quite obvious. <laughs> oh my god, I just touched it. I just touched it. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, oh you are a long, long way to go to hitting that mark. Oh my god, I'm so um, sorry. I think we'll be here until tomorrow at this rate. You can take bigger scoops now. Okay, I'm gonna like, actually do this. Wow! Okay. <laughs> oh shit, I crushed one. Sorry. I mean, it's okay. I'm gonna kill you anyway. <laughs> Okay, I don't want to laugh when I say that, sorry. Mm. Okay, so I need to add no. water to about here. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, so they are like, what the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? Okay, stop. Okay, oh no. All right. Oh my god, they are panicking, they are panicking. Okay. What is it? Do you know how to use a blender? Okay, never mind. Hey, what if like, it suddenly like burst out? I fix out. for you first. Okay. You just need to turn it to hey, one. But will it like, should I hold it's the top? No, it's, it's covered, it's covered. You sure you won't burst, ah? No. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Just leave it on. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> just, oh, yeah, just leave yeah. it on. So we need to check on the consistency. Okay, we need to add more. We can more add more mealworms. Oh, add more mealworms. Yeah. Oh my god, okay. Why must you blend the mealworms? Uh? Why can't the pangolin just eat it like that? Because the mealworms might escape out or... I want to make sure that they get the full diet. You don't want them to be missing some part of their diet because they ran away. Oh. <laughs> okay. Don't need close water. Yeah. It's close, right? Yeah. It's high in protein, low fat. It's really good. <laughs> you have to put the spoon inside all the way in. Yeah. And make sure you fill the bottom and you mix it properly. Well, actually it does look like like oatmeal. Right. Yeah. 
There's no smell. Eh. I thought it would smell bad. No, mealworms don't really smell bad. Blended mealworms with like ants eggs. Oh, look at the texture, so nice. So velvety. Hold it. Yeah, incorporate air into the mixture. <laughs> Here, you'll need to add in just the vitamins into the all of them. The next part is we need to weigh and give them different Portions, portions of stuff. Yeah. For pangolins, I mean their biggest problem is that they're the most poached animal in the world. So of all eight species yeah. for the scales. So a lot of people um, eat the scales. Eat the scales. Yeah. Like, what's the use of it? They think it has some medicinal properties. Oh. Yeah. But actually, um, same like rhino horn, is actually made out of keratin. Yeah. So you might as well eat your fingernails. Keratin. You have you know your nails and your hair is made out of oh. keratin. So now we're going to be walking one of our pangolins. She's rescued. Uh, her name is Pangolina. Uh, she was actually hit by a car and um, she was brought here and she has some spinal injuries. Uh, so we have to walk her every single day. It's a bit like physiotherapy. Yeah. I'm going to pick her up and bring her to a grassy area. Oh, yeah. Why wow, they look damn weird eh? They also have the prehensile tail. In Singapore, the biggest problems the pangolins face is actually not poaching, unlike the rest of the world. Uh, the biggest problem they face is uh, they actually get hit by a lot of vehicles. It was great. Yes. <laughs> Slow down. Uh, oh my god. They lift up. Up. Then <laughs> maybe. Oh my god, look at the bottom, so cute. Okay, like the bottom quite cute. So we walk them around, um, so they will dig, they will smell, they get very excited when they smell some ants' nests. They don't eat all types of ants, uh, they only eat certain ones. So we're done with the day here and I think like I'm very surprised that as in I'm, I never knew that people actually catch pangolins to eat and all that so I'm, I'm quite surprised about that and also I realised that if you work here for a long time right you'll develop some sort of like internal insect repellent or something like that because I got bitten so many times and she only got bitten like I think one time yeah. Yeah. yeah and we're both not using insect repellent <laughs> yeah. so how, what would you rate me? Um, I think that you did um, pretty well. I mean, it is your first time, you have no experience, you know, so for effort and everything, I'll give you a definitely a, a 8 out of 10. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, it, it was really good. Like, you were, you were not really afraid of most things. Yeah, except for insects. Except for insects. <laughs> yeah, it was good.